Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to talk about the Diels Alder reaction, a concerted pericyclic reaction. The Diels Alder reaction is the 4 plus 2 cyclization of a diene and a dienophile to generate a cyclohexene derivative. The Diels Alder reaction is a concerted pericyclic reaction that generates two new sigma bonds through a cyclic transition state where the HOMO of the electron-rich component interacts with the LUMO of the electron-poor one. Usually, the diene component is electron-rich and the dienophile is electron-poor. But sometimes, when the diene is electron-poor by the presence of an electron-withdrawing group and the dienophile electron-rich, by the presence of an electron donating group, then the reaction is referred to as an inverse electron demand Diels Alder cyclization. The reaction is stereospecific. The stereochemical information of the diene and the dienophile are retained in the product because the mechanism of the reaction demands this stereochemical outcome, just like in an SN2 reaction that goes with inversion of configuration. When a disubstituted e-alkene is used, the stereochemistry of the two substituents in the product will be anti. But when a Z-alkene is used instead, the stereochemistry in the product will be seen. Similarly, the stereochemical information in the diene is also transferred to the product. The reaction is also highly regioselective and follows the so-called ortho-para rule. The regioisomers are predominantly the 1-2 and the 1-4 products over the 1,3 product. The reaction is also stereoselective. In a stereoselective reaction, the molecule selects a particular reaction pathway for some reasons, be it static hindrance, kinetics, thermodynamics, but the molecule is enforced by the mechanism to react one particular way. In this case, according to secondary orbital interactions, the predominant product is the endocycloatom. That is, the product generated from the alkene that approaches the diene with the substituent towards the pi system. We now know that the reaction is stereospecific and the stereochemical information of the diene and the dienophile will be retained in the product. We also know that the reaction is regioselective and will deliver the 1-2 or the 1-4 product over the 1-3. And finally, we also know that the reaction is stereoselective and will give the endo product preferentially. But now, if there is nothing impeding the olefin to access the diene from below or from above, the reaction will also give us a racemic product, that is, a mixture of enantiomers. An 